High blood pressure is common among people with chronic kidney disease, affecting approximately two-thirds of patients. Left untreated, it can lead to heart failure, stroke and further damage to the kidneys. Blood pressure changes throughout the day and because people often feel nervous about visiting medical settings, readings can often be higher in clinic than when taken elsewhere. One way to get a clearer picture is to ask the patient to wear a monitor for 24 hours that takes measurements as they go about their everyday life. In the Wearable Clinic project, we are designing intelligent applications that measure and use blood pressure readings taken outside the clinic as part of care for people with chronic kidney disease. We are using state-of-the-art techniques to detect when conditions are suitable for taking accurate readings and minimize disruption to patients. Let's take a closer look at how the system could work. The care team will adjust the application settings for the patient, deciding how often blood pressure readings should be taken. Once the settings have been agreed, the application will create a plan for obtaining the readings and share it with the patient on their own mobile device. In the background, the application will be able to identify suitable times to take readings. Readings should be taken at predetermined intervals when the patient has been sitting quietly for five minutes. To get this right, this means the application has to combine inputs from different sensors. What makes this challenging is that we now need to look at combining multiple different sensors together. So traditionally, if you were making wearable devices, say a blood pressure monitor, you'd only be concerned with that one modality, you know, measuring blood pressure, measuring that accurately, and doing the best you could for that single modality. Now, you've got to try and combine that modality with additional sensors. And that gives us technical challenges in terms of, we've got to make sure that the data is aligned, it's in sync with one another, and we've got to make sure that it's simple, transparent, and still usable by our target user group. What will this achieve? Well, firstly, it reduces the burden on the user. We're aiming to increase the likelihood that we get a valid reading. It's a personalized, more intelligent approach to how do we do the sampling. It's, we can measure what sort of activities are you doing now? Have you been sitting down for five minutes, say? Is it a, likely to be a valid reading. So, how will the readings be taken? When the conditions are right, the application will activate and notify the patient that it is time to take a reading. If there are any problems, the application may get further instructions or postpone taking the reading before trying again. Once a valid reading has been taken, this will be sent and stored in the patient's electronic record along with past readings. Readings will continue at regular intervals over the course of 24 hours until the plan is completed. The care team will receive a summary report of blood pressure readings, which they can use to inform future care plans. This smarter sensing, combined with intuitive software, adds up to more accurate measurements, smoother information flow, and a better patient experience. And that is one way the wearable clinic will improve patient care. For more information, visit our website, herc.ac.uk, or follow us on Twitter, at the wearable clinic.